In this video, we'll write the electron configuration for B3+. That's the boron ion. We'll start by writing the configuration for just boron, neutral boron, which is boron as we find it on the periodic table. It doesn't have a plus or a minus charge. It's just neutral. Because of that, this atomic number here, which equals the number of protons, that also equals the number of electrons since it's a neutral atom. So we have five electrons to work with. We'll use this periodic table here broken up into these orbital blocks to do that. You can also use this chart here to figure the electron configuration out for boron. And there's a link in the description to explain how to do that. But I like using the periodic table here. This makes a lot more sense to me. So we have five electrons. We go to the 1s, so that's 1s1, 1s2. And with the s, it can only hold two. It can hold up to two. So from the 1s2, we go to 2s, and it can hold up to two. And we need to have a total of five electrons. So we can put two here. That gives us four. And then we go over to the p, the 2p, which can hold up to six electrons. And we only need one. So we're just going to put one in here. And this is the electron configuration for just boron, neutral boron. But we want to do B3+, plus, the boron ion. So to get from boron to B3+, plus, that means you've lost three valence electrons. So you lose electrons. They're negative. You become positive. If you lose three electrons, you get a three plus charge. So we'll get rid of three electrons. There's two there and one there. And now this is the electron configuration for B3 plus. So by figuring out the number of electrons we had for boron, and then we lost three of them to become this B3 plus ion, we figured out the electron configuration for B3 plus to be 1s2. This is Dr. B with the electron configuration for B3+, and thanks for watching.